Happy Sunday, Saints. Um, in fact, happy fifth Sunday of September 2024. I'm Dr. Dainty Jones, and I serve as Apostle of the House That Dignity Built Ministries. And we're here today for Dignity's Hour of Power. Um, it's Since it's fifth Sunday, I um, instead of preaching, I'd like to do our prophetic prayer together, uh, where we look at three scriptures and see what prayer um, the Holy Spirit has for us to offer. Um, and in fact, I am hoping to do this for the rest of the year. So from October, uh, at least October and November, when I'm with you on second and fourth Sundays, I would like for us to do prophetic prayer as we end the year. Um, and then in the month of December, I usually will show videos that um, seems to have seem to have been your favorites throughout the year, and we usually have holiday praise. Amen. Uh, so that's my prayer, um, unless God says otherwise, um, because I I truly believe His will will be done um, in all Shekinah glory. His will will be done. So um, that's my plan. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if God. Um, is uh, has that same plan as well, if he agrees with the plan. Um, so we'll see. We'll see which direction he takes us. All right, let us pray. Father God in heaven, thank you for a chance to be in your midst. Thank you for a chance to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for a chance that someone who doesn't know you yet might see this video on YouTube. Thank you for what you're able to do. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your law that protects us. Thank you for your mercy and your grace and your favor that we don't deserve. It's all based upon you and your love for us, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us forgiveness when we repent to you. As we keep trying, we're not perfect, but you didn't even create us to be perfect. Thank you for that, Lord. We're grateful, we're grateful, we're grateful, we're grateful, Lord. We're grateful. And we give you all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. And we submit this prayer through your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Um, okay, let's now have a praise moment. And then we will move into our prophetic prayer.
Amen, amen, amen. That's our praise for today. So let's go ahead and get started with our um, prophetic prayer. First, I want to lead you to um, some resources that you can use or that I'm using for our prayer today. And one of them is a list of um, all of the 66 books of the Bible. And so if you wanted to use it as well, I have it on the site um, for free. And so you can see it as well. And it is this one. It's the Bible books, chapters, and verse. And it looks like this. And I use it um, during this prayer time together where it will have um, whether the book is in the Old Testament or the New Testament. It will have the name of the section that it's in, like the first five books of the Bible are in a section called the Pentateuch. It has what the um, name of the book means, the theme of the book. Then it has all the chapters numbered so you know how many chapters are in that book. And it tells you how many verses are in that book. So I'm using this tool. Um, and again, it's on our webpage here, Dignity's House dot org slash ministry dash resources so you can you have access to this tool so i'm using it to build up further. um also i'm using um, the bible book cards that i created i created these based upon that list that you have um and i just i just use three to four of these cards to help me to build our prayers as well um, and I'm writing our notes for the prayer in uh, one of our um, monthly devotional journals. Um, and some of you have these already, but if you don't, for the month of October, we're going to be using the blue color one. This is the one from August. Um, and the one I've been using for the month of September is a pink one. Um, we are, you, you can find them on Amazon. If you put in Amazon and then Dainty Jones, it'll take you to these journals um, and you're purchasing them. We'll let you keep up with your notes um, and just your daily thoughts. And when you're talking to the Lord, you're trying to figure out um, a path to take or you're praying on your purpose. These are great resource to be able to do so. And um they're only $9.99 and half of that money comes to the ministry to help us with scholarships. Uh, so consider that. And then another, here are the other resources that I'm using. I'm using the Random Bible Verse website. It's dailyverses.net. And then the last resource that I use is Bible Hub. What Bible Hub will do is it will take us to the same scripture, but it will tell us the name of the chapter. That name of the chapter truly, truly helps us um, to have some more context about the scripture. All right. Okay. So let's get started. By the way, I just, I, I love doing this with you all. Um, it helps me to also become much more aware of the Bible, the truth of it, the light of it. Uh, the healing within it, the encouragement, uh, the warnings within it uh, to help us to stay on a certain path that's for us, a special narrow path that's for us. All right. So um, as I um, look at these scriptures with you, I'll be taking notes so that we'll know exactly what the prayer is about. Um when I look at these scriptures, I'm asking the Holy Spirit to reveal what this prayer is about. Somebody, somebody somewhere is praying this prayer. And when so when we pray it with them and they see this video, um, it should be or it could be confirmation for them uh, to just stay ready, stay ready, uh, because they were just thinking about this, just talking about this to the Lord and this video resonates with them in that way, then they can use it as confirmation. Amen. All right. So I never started the first um, scripture that's already there. I moved to the next one. 
So our scripture, our first one for today is from Romans 12 and 15. And it reads, rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. And key words for it are joy, compassion, and sadness. All right, joy, compassion, and sadness. So now I'm going to come to Bible Hub and insert Romans. Romans is in the New Testament. It's the first. It's the book that shows the first set of letters that Paul wrote to the churches. Romans 12. I am going a little too quickly for my computer. It looks like here. Here it is, Romans 12. And now we'll find verse 15. Great. And then that chapter is called Forgiveness. Okay. I'm just going to I'll stay on this page and I'm going to just pull four of our Bible cards and see what else we might be able to say what else might Holy Spirit be leading us to say with this prayer So, first Bible card um, is Second Corinthians. The next one is Malachi. The third is Joshua. And then the fourth is Zechariah. Use Malachi first because it means my messenger. And Zechariah second. Forgiveness, rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. And forgiveness. This prayer, this prayer is about fellowship. This prayer is about fellowship and affection. Hmm. No, fellowship and empathy. Fellowship and empathy is this first prayer. You can see that, right? Because when we are rejoicing with those who are rejoicing, we're happy for them while they're happy. And then we're weeping with those who are weeping. We are feeling sorrowful while they're weeping. So we're we're empathizing with them in our fellowship with them. Um so yes, that, that's going to be our prayer for today. <clears throat> so it'll be a com conversational prayer so that I can look at these tools um, that Holy Spirit has provided for us. So Father God in heaven, we thank you so much for reminding us and or teaching us that we are to fellowship 
with brothers and sisters in Christ, and we are to empathize with them where they are. That this is the wisdom that is shown from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 15. Um, as you're looking at forgiveness, um, if if we are in forgiveness of those, even when they might have hurt us, um, then we will still be able to empathize with them as they're on their journey so that we can receive that same gift as well. We can receive that same encouragement. We can receive that same camaraderie, um, that brothership, that fellowship, that sistership, that Christship. Uh, thank you, Lord, for that. We're we're wanting to live in harmony with one another. That's what we want to do, that your greatest commandment is that we are to love one another. So thank you for sending the Holy Spirit as a messenger to let us know that we are being delivered, to let us know that you remember us, your children, to let us know that you defend us, Father God, and that you actually find us beautiful and you're satisfied with us, Father God. That's that's what Second Corinthians is about. It's about beauty and your satisfaction, Father God. Um, and we love that you find us to be beautiful for we're made in your image. Um, and so we know that as a creator, you have made us to be beautiful beings inside and out who are able to share that beauty throughout and with one another, um, this harmonious beauty. So we offer this prayer to you um, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. So that's our first prayer. Our first prayer is on fellowship and empathy. To mix up our Bible cards again so that Holy Spirit can just show us whatever these Bible books or angel cards that he wants. And then we'll use this app to choose a scripture. So I'm going back to the random Bible verse and just letting it choose the next Bible verse. And this Bible verse is Galatians 5 and 13. And keywords are freedom humility, desires in serving, and love. And let me now then look up, I'm going to look up the scripture from the Bible Hub site. I'll read it from there so, so that I can more easily remember that we're looking at Galatians. Yeah, that's good. I clicked on Galatians so that I don't have to, uh, I won't I won't have to worry about forgetting where we were. Now, Galatians is also in the New Testament, in the same section as the Romans. It's one of the um, churches to which Paul wrote as well. And, and forgive me, I'm supposed to be also letting you know the what the um, books mean. So Romans, that last prayer, Romans means strength and power. And the theme of Romans is righteousness. Galatians means white. And the theme of Galatians is faith. Let's find the name of the chapter for some more contextual clues as we build this prayer. The name of this chapter is Freedom in Christ.
And this scripture reads, for you brothers were called to freedom, but do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, rather serve one another in love. Okay. This looks like it's gonna be Forgive me, I'm dropping cards. I'm going to use the cards that I dropped. Forgive me, I've got to go out of frame for one minute to pick up these cards. All right, I am back. And these five of them dropped, so I'm just going to use all five. So one of them is Michael. Angel Michael is the angel of protection and power. Another is Matthew, one of the Gospels. Um, and Matthew is gift of God. That's what it means and the famous Messiah. Genesis is the first book of the Bible in the Old Testament, um, meaning is beginning, and um, the theme is also about new beginnings. And then Second Peter, Peter means rock or church, and the theme of Second Peter is return. And then lastly, Acts. Acts is the shortest section of the Bible. It's its own section of the ten sections all by itself. Acts follows the four books of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And it is about the Holy Ghost in action and the Spirit, and the Spirit, okay? Um, and the different apostles, when, once the disciples actually became apostles, they, they graduated, if you will. They performed many acts, just as Jesus had, had promised they would be able to do with the power of the Holy Spirit within them. Okay, so I'm going to look here. So the Holy Ghost. I mean, a gift of God. Some of these new beginnings. Isn't that something? Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's, that's pretty amazing. Um, so just as we look at this scripture, and it is telling us um, that we have a freedom in God. We, we have a freedom in Christ, that we're not to use it for the flesh, but we're to use it in love. The, the Bible cards, remember I told you most of these fell, so I had to pick them up. Um, these Bible cards are in line with this scripture because we see here about um, how it's about protection. The freedom of Christ can protect us if we're using it in love. Love is what the church is about. Um, so as we are letting the Holy Spirit be in our in our within our vessels, he, he can be comfortable or the spirit, the spirit doesn't have a gender, but the spirit can be comfortable in our temples when we're fighting against our flesh. And instead we are um, trying to be part of the church um, and that this freedom is a, a, it's a gift of God. This freedom is a gift of God. And when we have this freedom, it, it gives us a new beginning. This, this freedom gives us a new beginning. Amen. So, all right. So, our prayer then will be a prayer, a prayer for the power of freedom and pride. Okay. 
Amen. And I'm just writing down these notes because I will put the names of the three prayers in the description box of the video, um, of this video, once I release it on YouTube, okay? All right. Um, so what a beautiful prayer our Holy Spirit has sent us. Uh, so Father God, thank you so much for letting us know that we have freedom in you. And when we have the power and the protection of that freedom, it, it's most powerful when we're using it for the church, when we're using it in love, when we're using it to uphold one another. Um, it's so similar to what you just showed us in the first prayer based upon Romans 12 and 15. Um, that when we are using the, when we are empathizing with one another, when others are happy and when others are sorrowful, uh, we are bringing power to them. We're bringing freedom to them. We are showing love to them. We are modeling what is to happen in a church that is based upon your doctrine um, and your teaching, Father God. So thank you. Thank you for reminding us of the freedom that we have in Christ and how this freedom is a pure freedom because it is coming from you. And it, it is a freedom based upon faith um, that we are um, to be humble and we are to suppress desires that are not from you or they are desires that require desire divine timing before we um, indulge in them and we practice them. So thank you, Father God, for this prayer, for the power of the freedom in living a Christian life and following Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so that's our second prayer. One prayer. We usually do three prayers together for these prophetic prayer Sundays. So I'm just going to mix up the Bible card with you. So that Holy Spirit can use them as Holy Spirit desires to. And you can move on to the next scripture. All right, so our next scripture is John 14 and 8. Keywords are Father. And John means graced by Yahweh. And the theme of John is Lord. And again, I got that from this handout. Let's now go and see the chapter title. So John is one of the Gospels, book of the Gospels. And it's not to be confused with 1st John, 2nd John, or 3rd John. Those are letters written by someone other than Paul in that section of the Bible. So we're going to read it in chapter 14. And then verse 8. The way, the truth, the life. That's the name of the chapter, and here is the word. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for 
us. Show us the Father. That will be enough for us. So remember, this is one of the books of the gospel. In each of the four gospels, the disciples are showing um, their relationship with Christ, what they remember from Christ being here on earth. Okay, so now we have the scripture and the chapter title. I just part off the top, off the bottom, and two from the middle. So Holy Spirit has a message for us for the prayer. And that's the book of Leviticus for priests. That's what that means, Leviticus for Levites. And the theme of Leviticus is holiness. We have Daniel. Daniel means God is my judge, and the theme is kingdoms. We have the book of Revelation, it means revealed, and the theme is prophecy. And then we have the card, first Samuel. Samuel means God is heard, and it's uh, the theme is monarchy. Hmm. That is, that's interesting because monarchy and kingdom are synonyms. Let me put that together. And the priest will reveal the holiness of God's kingdom is what the cards seem to be telling us. And then fill up the sea, show us the Father, show us the kingdom. That will be enough for us. Show us the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. So for this prayer, we can call this Lord, show us your kingdom. And let us pray. Father God in heaven, thank you for this word from John 14 and 8. Thank you for reminding us of the grace that you give us. Um, the grace meaning this favor that you're showing us that we didn't earn. Um, you're taking care of us, Father God. And we are asking to be able to see your holiness, to be able to see your kingdom, Father God. Show us your kingdom where thy will is done. The, the Lord's Prayer says, thy kingdom come. We're, we're asking you, show us your kingdom. Show us your kingdom and what it looks like right here amongst us in the church the church that is ourselves, our own temples, the church that is our families when we come together with the loved ones who were bound by blood and by law. Show us your kingdom in our communities where we are to help protect and cherish each other. Show us your kingdom, Father God. Show us your kingdom. Show us your kingdom, Lord God. We know that we can be content in your kingdom, Father God. We know that you are present in your kingdom, Father God. Wherever two or more of us are gathered in your name, you are in the midst. Um, we are attracted to your ways. We are attracted to your truth. We are attracted to your life. So, Father God, show us your kingdom. And thank you for the revelation, the power 
that is in your kingdom. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for uh, remaining with me as we looked at these three prayers for today for our prophetic prayer session together um, for Dignity's Hour of Power. So again, we've had a prayer on fellowship and empathy. That was our first prayer. Our second prayer was for the power of having the freedom in Christ. And then our third and last prayer was, Lord, show us your kingdom. All right, I look forward to being in your virtual mist again, uh, to be able to share uh, the power of God's word, the truth of God's word, this word that is a light uh, that shines uh, before us, this word that does not oppress any people, any people, or we all fall short of God's glory. So all people are worthy of having a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so if you have not accepted the Trinity into your life yet, you still have time to do so. He's waiting. He is waiting. And so give him a chance. What would you lose by giving God a chance? What would you lose? You would only gain. You would only gain. Um, it doesn't matter what church you choose. Um, as long as it's a, a church that is teaching the truth of the Bible, as long as it is a church that is not trying to hurt you, um, there is a term called church hurts. And there are some churches that actually are hurting its members and its doctrines are actually hurting people who are already hurt and who are looking to be released from the hurt. They're, they're um, trying to be free from the pain that the world gives. What sense does it make for churches to join in on that? Nope, nope. So if you see a church like that, you discern that you are not in the right place you find another place to be. And if God is calling you to start your own church, be obedient and start that church as well, right? It starts with your relationship with the Father. Well, again, I'm Dr. Dainty Jones. I'm apostle of the House of the Dignity Built Ministries. Blessings, blessings, blessings.